investing in real estate is not just for rich people. Brian from New York City, this is your video. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I am your host, James Wise, coming to you from the home studio right now due to the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, just a quick note, we have non-essential field staff, okay? People like myself or the sales and media team where we don't physically need to, to be on site. We are working off site to comply with all the... Uh, CDC and state recommendations and mandates, et cetera, et cetera. But our essential field team, our construction workers, our maintenance guys, all those things, you know, title companies, insurance companies, everything is still operating as a go. Our maintenance team, we are still working in the field. We're getting grass cut. We're handling service calls. We're doing full on renovations. We're, you know, swapping out roofs, doing everything you need us to do, guys. So don't think uh, this pandemic is going to slow us down. Now, the pandemic, what it's doing, though, it is, uh, it's, it's separating investors into two different camps. One camp, they want to withhold their cash or they want to liquidate from their properties. And then the second camp, they want to get aggressive. They think now is the time to buy because other people are running scared. I happen to agree with that second camp because I actually started Holton Wise. I built Holton Wise on the back end of the last Great Recession a uh, decade or so ago, right? So when everyone else is trying to run away, you know, we can get in there and get aggressive and make some offers. And I am working with a new client today who agrees with me. Brian, man, I like this, dude. This is great. I'm happy to do a video for a guy like you. You are a construction laborer from New York City. So you are a blue collar motherfucker, man. That's what I like to see. I would love to see more blue collar motherfuckers out there investing in real estate. You know, some people think that, uh, you got to be a multimillionaire to invest in real estate. That is not the case. I was not a wealthy guy, you know, last decade when I started this company. I'm a blue collar motherfucker. Brian's a blue collar motherfucker. Are anybody, anybody out there who's watching this right now, if you are a blue collar motherfucker, I want you to leave me a comment, say blue collar motherfucker and tell me what you do because we are not limited to just rich people, right? Brian, you're just, you're using your money smart, dude. First of all, you own your own home. Love that, dude. Great job. The first thing you guys should do when you're investing in real estate is take care of home base, right? I always talk about financing and financing is the best thing, the best reason to invest in real estate. And that's very true. We get 10 residential mortgages. That is the only downside to the, the residential financing space. And we really only get nine to invest with because guys, you're missing the boat if you're not burning that first mortgage on your own home. So, Brian, you did that in New York. New York's very expensive, but you're smart. You took care of home base. Love that. And then you got yourself a rental in South Carolina, and now you're looking to expand and get the rest of the rentals in the Cleveland market, dude. And you're smart, right? Here's, this just plays into why it's so important to to utilize your first mortgage to take care of the roof over your head because you can kill two birds with one stone, right? You take care of the roof over your head and you're still investing in yourself and your net worth because, dude, to be a person in the United States of America, you need a roof over your head. You need to live somewhere. So no matter what, you're going to pay a mortgage to put a roof over your head. Do you want that mortgage to be your mortgage or do you want it to be your landlord's mortgage? Of course, you want it to be your mortgage. And Brian, you are leveraging the fact that uh, you're smart. You took care of that, right? So you actually got $80,000 in a home equity line of credit. So all the money that you're um, utilizing right now for this uh, portfolio, I'm going to help you build here in the Cleveland market. You did that because you were smart and you took down your own home. If you were just renting in New York right now, you wouldn't have been able to pull out that equity. You wouldn't have been able to utilize this 80K. And me and you wouldn't be talking right now. So you blue motherfucker, uh, you blue collar motherfucker, you. Good job. I'm just super proud of you, dude. And I love to see, you know, hardworking blue collar guys, uh, you know, leveraging themselves, making the smart moves and, and really making that step up in the wealth category, dude. So I'm just super proud of you and super excited to work with you, bro. 
Um, as far as what you're looking to do, dude, you want to burr. You want to do burrs, right? And you're all about the path of progress. You've seen a lot of my content talking about the metro health area, okay? We got a billion dollars getting invested into this neighborhood. So the first property that I found for you, dude, it's a burr deal right in that neighborhood. 3329 West 46, Cleveland, Ohio, 44102. This sucker listed by a company called DSL Real Estate Services. They listed this over two months ago, 65 days ago, okay? They listed it for 39900 And I love, I love this deal, right? I love this property because I don't think that the, the seller and the listing agent is doing it justice. I, I think they've made several mistakes uh, with this particular property and the marketing of this property. And I think it's going to be very tough for them to get buyers uh, with the mistakes that they made in conjunction with the fact that, like I said, dude, the coronavirus, it's splitting the investment community in two, okay? Some people want to invest, i.e. you, Brian, you blue collar motherfucker, you. And the other people, they want to pull back. They want to get out of investing, right? So we already have less investors to deal with, less competition. And then the second, another thing, right? The second thing, okay? It's marketed incorrectly, right? We have nothing to go off of, dude. It's tenant occupied and all we got is two photos. One, two, that's it. It's all you get. You get one, you get two, right? So it's very, very difficult to do showings when a property is occupied by a tenant, okay? Super difficult, right? If I had to guess, I would assume that perhaps this listing agent I'm not saying they're a bad agent. I'm not trying to talk smack about this listing agent. I, I, I never met this person. I've never done a deal with them. I never even heard of DSL Real Estate. So I'm not saying anything negative about those folks. Uh, and I'm not trying to hint that they're inexperienced. What I'm trying to say is all I do is the rental game, right? I only do the investment properties, right? So I've never, ever heard of these people. So I would assume that they are probably more active in the owner-occupied community, the higher-end suburbs, right? You guys check out the Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods. Your owner-occupied people, you know, most realtors, they're playing in that A neighborhood, you know, area, you know, areas where you guys as investors are not typically interested in because those properties, they don't cash flow, right? You know, Cleveland's cheap. We got a lot of cheap inventory. We got a lot of great rental markets, just like, you know, the rest of the Midwest. But I don't want you guys to think that everyone in this, uh, you know, Cleveland area, everyone in Northeast Ohio lives in, you know, fifty, sixty thousand dollars houses. We don't, right? You know, we have wealthy people in Cleveland. We have people living in 200, 400, 600, 800 million dollar houses, right? We, we have that as well, right? So uh, most of the realtors, you know, they're, they're working with families that buy homes and then they move into homes, right? That's the majority of their clientele. And you get people like that and they just randomly end up with like one or two rental properties and then they want to sell them. So they go to, you know, Susie Realtor that they're familiar with. I think that might be the case here because this particular real estate agent, they haven't presented this property uh, in a way that makes sense. They haven't really talked a lot about the numbers. They haven't gotten us any photos. You know, they should know that showings, you know, trying to do a bunch of showings, right? Their whole thing is like, yo, here's the outside of the property. You got to schedule a showing to check it out. Dude, showings with a tenant, Jesus Christ. That's inefficient, doesn't work. Uh, you know, the tenant cancels, the buyers cancel. The whole thing's a goddamn mess. Not to mention we're in a fucking viral pandemic right now. If you think it's tough to do showings with a tenant uh, under normal circumstances, now there's a motherfucking pandemic, dude. So it, it's going to be insane. So it would have been super important for this agent to get in there one time and get people the idea of what they're looking at. We have no clue what the inside of this property looks like, right? So to recap, reasons why I think nobody's looking at this sucker. One, Viral pandemic has cut down our buyer pool. Two, I believe it's inappropriately marketed. Three, here's a new one, okay? The rent, the current tenant, they're only paying $600 a month. Paying $600 a month on a single family home, nobody's interested in that. That is like almost half of what this property could be doing. So investor pool, cut in half, all right? Marketed inappropriately. Rent way too low. Now, because of all that, right, Brian, that's where I think you and I, we're going to come in and we're going to get aggressive. You've got cash to play with. So I would like to see you pick this sucker up for 28 
$1,000. Now, as far as what the plan is going to be, I am penciling in a $20,000 rehab for you. Do we need to do that rehab the day you buy it? Absolutely not. We have a tenant. They're in there. They're paying rent. Depending on the terms of their lease, you know, once it goes month to month, we'll want to give them notice to renew their lease and we'll want to increase their rent. We'll go up like maybe, you know, 50 or 100 bucks at a time till we eventually get them to market. If they don't get to market, which is a thousand bucks, that's where we're going to be targeting. They're eventually, you know, they're either going to keep going up in rent or they're eventually going to move out. When they move out, we're going to put a new tenant in there at a thousand dollars a month. So this property could bring in twelve thousand dollars a year. The way we get that thousand dollars a month is going to be through that twenty thousand dollar renovation. Now, as far as some things that they did give us, they didn't give us a lot on this property, but they did give us some things, just some things that the uh the agent said, I'll just read you their remarks. Investment opportunity, low taxes, this three bed, one bath home includes some newer windows, furnace, and H2O tank replaced. Replaced when? I, you know, what does that mean? Is that replaced five years ago, 10 years ago, 15 years ago? I don't know. So we'll have to find that out when we do the inspection. Would have been nice uh, to know a little bit more info, but hey, that's why we're going to get so aggressive. We're going to try to take this property down for so much lower than the list price. Painted exterior, this property makes for low maintenance, easy cash flowing opportunity. Whether a novice experienced investor, there is a great opportunity here. Currently rented for 600 per month, fully fenced yard, newer 100 amp electrical panel, newer electrical wiring, newer furnace, newer roof, right? So whatever, it's just a lot of generic stuff, okay? So what I've done is I've penciled in 20K for us. Why? Because that's gonna take care of everything, dude, right? What I wanna do to get us at a thousand bones a month we're going to need to go in and do this whole, the whole shebang, right, dude? Like, we don't need to go into this assuming that, like, this tenant's going to move out. We'll get a new tenant in there, a thousand bucks a month, and all you got to do is clean it up. That's probably not going to happen, dude. I see no reason why you should assume that this has, like, a completely updated kitchen and shit like that, right? So we're going to go and we're going to do the whole thing. We're going to, if there's carpet, we're going to rip it out. You know, old home like this is going to have hardwoods. We're going to finish those hardwoods. We're going to put a nice dark stain on them to cover up a lot of the imperfection because, dude, those floors are probably about 100 years old put a nice poly over that, you know, so, you know, when kids come in, they spill crap on the floor, when dogs come in, they piss on the floor, when people get drunk, they piss on the floor, I don't fucking know, we are just going to make sure we are set up, so when stuff hits that floor, we don't have to keep doing that floor over and over, so we're going to hard it, we're going to do it one time, put a thick coat over that, that floor is going to be protected uh, for the near future, right, paint all the walls, one color, agreeable gray, most popular color, all the trim, we're going to go white, and then we're going to bang out new renovations in the kitchens and the baths. We're going to do high quality cabinets, or not high quality cabinets, but we're going to do like Home Depot lowest quality cabinets, and we're going to do high quality countertops. The tenant base, they love those countertops. You give them a granite or a quartz, you give them that level of finish, dude, they are going to love it under Mount Sink, nice little backsplash, you know, that is going to be how we're going to do it. We're going to deck it out, do some really nice stuff in the in the bathroom as well super modern stuff. That's going to make this property super attractive to all the tenants. And then we're going to target the section eight tenant base because we are in a D-class neighborhood, dude. You've been watching my content. You know, I'm super high, right? Because of Metro Health, that billion dollar investment. I think we have a reasonable expectation of a ton of appreciation being that they're investing $1 billion into this neighborhood, plus all the other fancy neighborhoods you guys hear about when you're looking at Cleveland on a national basis, right? Stuff to the north, Ohio City, Detroit Shoreway, uh, Edgewater, Tremont, uh, Gordon Square, right? All that stuff, right? Those are the hot neighborhoods. That's to the north, right in this neighborhood. We got Metro, right south. We got, you know, we got the old Brooklyn, nice solid C-class neighborhood. Then over um, to the side of us, we got Westlake, Lakewood, Rocky River, Fairview Park, and then in Cleveland, the Cam's Corner neighborhood, right? So everything surrounding us in a 360 degree circumference is better than this neighborhood, and we're putting a billion dollars in this neighborhood. So what do you think is going to happen to this neighborhood? A reasonable person would anticipate the values are going to go up, okay? So we go Section 8 now with a beautiful, badass renovated home, get us a thousand bones a month, and limit our risk why the neighborhood is high risk. Okay, limit our ability for tenants not to pay and dick us around a lot of the issues you deal with when you're in these higher risk neighborhoods. We're going to alleviate a lot of that through that Section 8 program and that high quality renovation. Remember, this is not happening the moment you buy it. 
we're going to probably just, you know, work on increasing that tenant's rent. And if they stay for like a year or two, cool, dude, we'll just collect the money. It'll still make a little bit of money when that natural turnover occurs from us going up in that rent. That's when we'll make the move, right? No reason to just immediately kick that tenant out and do this reno, right? What we could do is just collect that cash flow and then use the rest of your money to, to work on some other projects, right? Simultaneously, right? You never want to just immediately get rid of an income stream to spend more money. But when we do spend it, man, it's going to go great. Pulling up the chart with the numbers, right? Thousand bucks comes in. We're going to be spending approximately 426 every on it's going to average out to 426 a month. We're not going to actually spend 426 a month, but it'll average out, right? We should be spending approximately five G's of that 12,000 every single year. So this thing should be kicking off almost $7,000, right? So it's going to make some money. And the burr, when we do refi it, dude, that's where it's going to kill because you put 28 into it, hopefully. Then we put 20 in renovations into it. Now we got a beautiful looking house. It's all nice. It's high quality. Got that high quality tenant. And guess what? The appraiser, he's going to love it too. I anticipate we're going to get this thing to appraise for $65,000. Now, just as a rental, if you're all cash, dude, this is a 14 cap. That's great. But this is where the magic happens, bro. Since you only put in 48, if we get it to appraise for 65, the bank, they're going to loan you $48,750, dude. This is where a blue collar motherfucker like you can stretch your money and, you know, climb that property ladder, climb the ladder of wealth and get into the high earner status because, dude, they're going to loan you $750 more than you started with, bro. So your return, your cash on cash return is essentially unlimited because you should be making, after you pay down that mortgage that you just got, you should be making $4,400 a year on average. Um, but they already loaned you $750 more than you originally put into the deal, man. So now we got this cash flowing asset. It's consistent. We got Section 8 tenants in there, and then we're still hoping for more long-term appreciation. And you have now $750 at your disposal more than when you started. So you started with 80K. When uh, the dust settles on this sucker, you'll have 80750 and a cash flowing asset. So that is why you want to target this neighborhood. That's why I'm excited to send this property to you. And that's why I'm happy to see a blue collar guy like you move up, man. So uh, what we need to do now, we need to go to a word from the sponsors of today's show. Then I'm going to get into the second property I found for you, Brian. Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches. FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit fshouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Beal, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price-to-rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. Hey, Brian, welcome back. Now, the second property I have for you. This, um, this is a property I've already... I've actually, I'm pretty in depth uh, with my knowledge on this property because I recently analyzed this for another client. It's a high net worth dude from Hong Kong. And we went under contract on this thing. And, um, you know, we were, we were getting ready to close. And for whatever reason, uh, you know, this guy, he changed his mind. He decided to pull from a deal. He gave the earnest money back to the sellers. And we actually had this thing under contract at $23,000. That was the seller's bottom line. But before we went into contract, I, of course, analyzed it for him. So I want you to take a look at that footage now. And that's what this first property is. 43 Forbes Road, Bedford, Ohio. 
This is listed by an agent from a Howard Hanna brokerage. I am actually um, very, uh, have a very good re relationship and rapport with this agent. We've done many deals together in the past. Solid dude. Uh, this particular property, he has listed at $30,000. As much as I like this dude, I think that price is too high and I'm going to get you a better price. I anticipate I'm going to get you this property for $20,000. If I get you this property for $20,000, my plan is to put a tenant in there for you at $1,000 a month. Bedford, solid neighborhood. We get very high rents there. Now, a little bit about this property. This property is a dog, brother. This thing is just, oh my God, dude. It is, it is horrible. And that is great. Like, look at these pictures, dude. Everything that could be just wrecked on this particular property is. We are literally going to go through this thing and do everything. That's why it's key to pick it up for such a low price, right? If we can pick this bad boy up for $20,000, I anticipate a renovation in the $45,000 range. Now, I know that probably sounds like a huge renovation, and it is a huge renovation. But let me just give you a little bit more insight into what would be going on with this renovation. Now, you take a property this size. It's a small property, right? It's a little, uh, like, 900 square feet, right? You know, just a teeny tiny little property there. Um, but this, this, this property needs everything. Now, we take a small property like this. We do, like, a normal cosmetic reno, which is going to be, you know, kitchens, baths, uh, painting floors, stuff like that. You're usually looking at around $20,000. But in addition to that, you know, everything appears to be just destroyed on this. Uh, and we got to, you know, assume everything needs to be replaced. So we got furnaces we got to install. We got to install one furnace. That's going to be about three grand. But I don't know what's going on with the ductwork. A lot of things have been stolen and stripped out of this property, as I understand it. So, you know, we're going to tack on another 2K for ductwork. Uh, hot water tank and plumbing pipes, you know, hot water tanks are normally a thousand bucks for a nice little replacement. But in addition, I'm sure we got to install a bunch of new plumbing throughout the property. So that's going to be another 2K. I'm assuming we're going to tack on at least five G's to handle all the electrical issues we're probably going to have. Roof, I'm sure that roof is jacked. So we're going to tack on another five G's there. That's a total of 38K. I have left a buffer of another 7K because, you know, I'm just going off of uh, a ballpark looking at pictures, but other things I'm thinking of that are going to be messed up, you know, windows, uh, as far as that garage, that garage is looking pretty bad. So I'm going to say all told, you know, we should be in the $45,000 range, right? That's just giving you a nice uh, ballpark. After we get the inspection and then after you close, you know, we'll get my team in there for a line by line bid to show you everything, but, you know, big projects like this, uh, things are going to happen um, as you're working on it. So that's why I wanted to leave you that $7,000 buffer. So, you know, we don't uh, tell you one thing and then you get the actual bid and it's like way, way off. It might not be exactly 45 on the dot, but I think with that big buffer I've given you that uh, is going to ensure that you're, you know, going to be in the, in the ballpark there, right? So if we put a tenant in there after this huge extensive renovation, thousand bucks a month is what we should be getting. Okay, now it says it's a two-bedroom home, and it very, may way, uh, very, very much may well be a legal two-bedroom home, but usually homes of this style, I feel like there's like an extra little bonus room that we could kind of count as a three-bedroom. That's why I believe we'll get a thousand bucks a month. Um, if if it turns out that, that I, I'm off base, but I've I've dealt with a lot of properties of this exact same layout, and usually there's another little area we can kind of turn this into a, a three-bedroom which uh, the tenants, you know, will more or less consider that little bonus from a third bedroom. So a thousand bucks a month should be right where we're at. If for some reason that's not the case and it like is a true two bedroom, we go the section eight route and we just deck this thing out with the premium upgrades and the kitchens and the baths. I still think we'll be right up in there at that thousand dollar range. So that, that rental range may shift slightly, but not enough to really uh, make or break your deal, man. This is going to be a solid deal. So assuming we're getting that thousand bucks a month, after all of your standard expenses. Now, even though everything's going to be brand new, we're going to have new furnace, new hot water tank, new roof, new electrical, every new fixture. Everything's going to be new, crisp, clean, beautiful. I'm still going to have you factor in 50 bucks a month for repairs and maintenance, 50 for vacancy and non pay, 50 for capital expenditures. Now, cap expenses, man, that's the great thing about that $50, right? We're accounting for the next roof, roof replacement. Five grand, right? You're accounting for that. But the cool thing is, dude, we're doing it now. 
So you literally don't need to worry about spending five grand for another 30 years. Same thing with your furnace. We're going to spend probably five grand right now because I assume you got to rerun a lot of the ductwork. Um, and then that ductwork, that'll just be good. Uh, you know, you're not going to have to worry about replacing that every 30 years, but you're going to have to spend about three grand replacing that furnace every 30 years. But we're putting in a furnace now, so that is 30 years down the road. You don't got to worry about that. Hot water tank, you got another 15 years for you got to worry about that. So a lot of this uh, money that you're saving up to, that's just going to be in your bank account for a very, very long time. So that's great. Tax is 133 Insurance is a cheap old little teeny little house. So we should be able to insure this bad boy for 50 bucks a month. Um, anybody out there who's watching Angus's video, you may not know, Angus already knows this, but you may not know that we actually also own a farmer's office and we're appointed with several other niche insurance providers and we handle insurance nationwide, right? So your properties don't need to be in Cleveland. If you're already watching this and you're an existing landlord, you've got properties in other locations, click the notes below. I've got a link. Let us quote out your portfolio. All we do is handle portfolios for rental property owners. So we are able to shop these around and beat down your premiums. We are not like the insurance agent who also insures your cars, your big old fancy house in the suburbs, your boat, things of that nature. We don't mess with that. All we do is beat the hell out of insurance premiums for rental property owners. So if you want to save some money, which if you're not like Angus trying to spend money in these struggling and trying times dealing with COVID-19, you're trying to stay liquid like a lot of those other investors. Well, if you can't go out and find new income, the best way to keep more cash coming through your door is to reduce your expenses. So let us do that for you. No obligation. Click the link below. Let us quote you, save you some money. Water sewer, even though it's a single family house, you're still going to have to pay for that. 75 bucks. If you're curious to know why you have to pay for the water sewer, I know it's not like that in uh, every market in the United States, but every market's different. Cleveland, you have to, okay? Go to holtonwise.com, click on our property management fact if you wanna know why you have to do that. It's a big old long story, but in our fact, I've explained it for you. Long care, that's cool. You don't have to worry about that. We can push that off to them tenants though, because it's a single family home, only one tenant. So if the grass don't get cut and city uh, issues a violation, we got one person and one person only uh, to blame for that. So we can definitely push that off, save you some money. PM, 100 bucks a month. So of this thousand, I anticipate you're going to spend 508. But remember, we're going to have solid, stable tenants because it's a solid, stable neighborhood. We're going to have solid, stable tenants because we're going to have decked this thing out with premium upgrades. It's going to be a beautiful house. So our vacancy and non-pay, I anticipate, should be lower. Our CapEx, even though we're still accounting 50, remember, all this stuff is going to be brand new. So you're saving that for a long time. So, you know, this is a very conservative estimate, but in all actuality, you're going to have a lot more cash to play with than the 492 a month I'm projecting for you. Now here... Here is where it gets good. I talked at the top of the show, 200% return on your capital. How in the hell is that possible? Well, it's possible because of the way we're going to play with the financing, right? So you're going to spend approximately 20K. And dude, if you got to buy it at like 25, whatever, that's cool too, right? It's still going to be a hell of a deal. I didn't run the numbers if you bought it at 25, but like, dude, if you don't make a 215% cash on cash return, and you make like 140% cash on cash return, I don't think you're going to be complaining though, right? So assuming though we do pick it up for 20 and you spend 45, we'll be all into this sucker for 65 Gs, okay? Now that's a 9.4 cap, pretty reasonable, but this is the great thing. When we go to refinance this out down the road, okay, I anticipate since we decked it out, we'll get this bad boy to appraise for $85,000, which is $20,000 more than what you've got into it. You do that, you get yourself a standard 30-year loan, bank's going to want 25% equity into it. That means if it is valued by the appraiser at $85,000, which there's no reason it shouldn't be, the bank will loan you back $63,750. Remember, you only spent 65000 So now that means, in all actuality, all you have into this deal is 1250 Now you got your new little tiny mortgage of 268 So you're still going to bring home approximately 2688 a year, which is double, okay? More than double the amount of money you actually have into the deal. Because remember, with this burr, you've got... Only twelve fifty left in the deal. That's why burrs are so great. Buy, renovate, rent, 
refinance and repeat, right? You invested 65K. We've pulled 63,750 out of that. Now you're making more on this property every single year than what you have into the deal. The tenants are beating down your new mortgage. So by the time it comes to you actually having to replace that roof or that furnace that we are going to be replacing right now, you'll be ready to, to pull another $63,000 out of this property. So uh, that's why, you know, this is a long-term game and that's why this is going to be a hell of a deal. So yeah, 20 K is going to be our target, but dude, if we got to pick it up for 25, so be it right. Still going to be a hell of a deal. Um, we're going to really force a lot of, a lot of good things to happen for you here with a big old beautiful renovation. So that was my thoughts on that property prior to us going under contract. Like I said, we went under contract for 23K and that seller, he was not willing to budge off of that number. So if you want to take this one down with the new information I have, 23K is the number, no questions asked. Uh, but for you know various reasons, as uh, illustrated in the analysis when I did it for my other client, I think this could also work for you because this is just another solid bird deal. And the cool thing too is this neighborhood, it's going to alleviate some of your risk, right? Because you want to spread out that risk, dude. Like, yes, we just talked about the badass best case scenario that could happen with 3329 West 46, right? But I don't want you to get caught up in all that great stuff and the fact that you're going to end up most likely burn all your money back out, you know, being $750 to the positive before factoring in uh, all your cash flow. Just remember, though, at the end of the day, there's still risk involved in that deal. There's risk in any deal, but there's still going to be some risk in that deal because that is still currently, as it sits, a D-class neighborhood. This neighborhood is a little higher quality. So, you know, you have a somewhat limited amount of funds to start with. So what I think the smart play is, you know, maybe you go for some investments that are up here on the risk scale, but then you balance those out with some over here. You don't want to just start off with two super high risk deals right off the bat. Dude, let's balance out some of that risk, okay? And I think this one uh, would be the perfect addition to that, right? We got a little bit of yang, a little bit of yang, but they both still work as a bird deal. So Brian, uh, we are emailing this out to you as you're watching it, right? You're the only guy who can see this video. It's a private link. Everybody else who's watching this video, you're probably watching it 60 to 90 days after Brian has. We do not release these videos publicly on Holton Wise TV until after the deals are gone, until after all scenarios have been exhausted, either the investor says, no, I don't want to do that deal, or we sell the property, right? We do not want to allow all the audience on Holton Wise TV the opportunity to come in and snake Brian's deal because, hey, Brian's paying for this video, and if you're just watching on Holton Wise TV, you ain't. But the good news is you could, man. If you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one just like this, I want you to go to HoltonWise.com, click the property search for sale tab, scroll to the MLS search and analysis show, and pick up an analysis package. I highly recommend the 10 property package, which is what Brian did during the entire Corona's pandemic. I am keeping this sale going until the coronavirus pandemic is over. So while you see me in my home office, you'll be able to get this sale. Normally we charge $800 per property. Right now you can get me to analyze 10 for you. That's only 200 bucks a property. If you're going to invest in a new out-of-state market, you're crazy not to do diligence up front. Take a look at some of the other shows. Take a look at a lot of the shows where on the video thumbnail, like, you know, that's the picture that you see when you're scrolling through the videos. I want you guys to watch some of the videos where you see like a big stop sign. Okay, because I'm not just sitting up here, you know, trying to get you guys to, to buy anything and everything, dude. I want you guys to look at all the videos where I told you guys not to buy the property. Because outside of putting me to work, having me find properties for you, a lot of you guys are getting offered deals from wholesalers, for sale by owners. Some of you guys are doing direct mail, stuff like that. Other realtors. I mean, dude, we got 5,000 realtors out here and everyone's trying to pitch you deals. And a lot of you guys are like, oh, it's a great deal. It's a great deal. Watch those videos that have the stop sign logo, right? What that is, is those are people, they, they purchase their package and they're like, yo, I'm thinking about buying this deal from X person. They want me to buy it for this price. And I analyze the deals and dude, I cut you guys straight. A lot of times I'm over there like, hey, yes, if you want, I will represent you as your buyer's agent. Yes, I will make a commission on it. But here are the reasons why I don't want you to do this deal. And dude, you know, I've saved people. 30,000, 50,000, 100,000. I've saved someone as much as $250,000. Imagine that, dude. You spend a little bit of a couple hundred bucks and I save you a quarter million dollars. 
you're you're crazy if you're not doing the proper due diligence. You guys can really get into some high risk stuff. So uh, if you want to work with me one on one, like my dude Brian is, check that out. Otherwise, just keep watching the show. But uh, back to you, Brian. Again, man, uh, you're you're in the email here. So if you want to move forward with these deals, uh, you know, just reply to that email. You'll be working with me and my personal team of assistants and administrators. We're going to negotiate on your behalf. I mean, technically, as far as 40, 43 Forbes goes, there's really not going to be any negotiations. That particular seller is a very like cut and dry, yo, this is the price, take it or fuck off kind of thing. Uh, so there ain't going to be no negotiations there, but we'll be able to negotiate West 46 for you. And I believe we'll be able to pick it up for you for approximately 28 K. If we got to pay a little bit more, dude, that's still a smoking deal. Uh, but I really think we'll be able to, uh, you know, pull off something beneficial for you. And of course we want to make that contingent on inspection and things of that neighbor, just getting all that due diligence taken care of for you. So you're making uh, the most educated choices and we could try to mitigate the risk on your 80 K as much as possible. So Brian, man, just follow up uh, with my team and then everybody else again, uh, get yourself a package from holtonwise.com if you would like to work with us one-on-one. -on -one. That is all I've got for you guys today. Stay safe out there during this coronavirus pandemic. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Over 50% of those living in the greater Memphis area rent their home. This fact combined with the high price to rent ratio is why Forbes rates Memphis, Tennessee as one of the top real estate investment markets in the country. Memphis Investment Properties and their sister property management company, Reedy & Company Realtors, are among the largest and most trusted turnkey operations in this market. With over 30 years in business, a portfolio consisting of more than 2,700 active rentals, and an impeccable track record renovating over 6,000 single-family homes, it's no surprise they are one of the most reputable turnkey operations in the United States. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy-to-use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you will also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and Rent Tech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia, and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.